Ah, right, look, Stu. I think there's something you should know. Dad alert. Hobbit love is at nine o'clock. But it's ten past eleven. But you swear not to tell anyone. On the Klingon code of conduct. Ow! Ten tails. Butt up, Bimbo. This is a great day for St. Hopes. A visit from the Prime Minister. Let's hope it all goes to plan. It will. Mm. We've excluded the worst troublemakers. Well, 200 of them anyway. Good, good. Um, what about the staff? Oh, I've told some of them to stay away too. The depressed looking ones. No, good idea. Were you really going to tell Stuart about our mission? No way. Daisy doesn't know what she's talking about. This is serious. If our identities are exposed, MI9 will close us down. Daisy. Good, isn't she? The Prime Minister, he's here. Welcome to St. Hope's Prime Minister. I'm Kenneth Flatley, head teacher, and this is Charlotte Graham, a reporter from the United Schools Gazette. Thank you for granting me an interview, Prime Minister. Can we get this ceremony underway ASAP? I've an important announcement to make afterwards. An announcement? Yes. Our troops are mobilized and ready to strike across Europe. They only await my final instruction. Rose, this is getting serious. The PM's gonna launch an attack on Europe. You're in position, Blaine. There's zero happening this end. It's Dalesville. Don't let Ralph your sight. Yeah, yeah, counter-surveillance. I can do my job. Uh, Flatley, uh, send for me in my dressing room when I'm needed. Subject on the move. Gonna try for an interview. And some DNA. Never heard signals like this before. It's definitely an alien language. Whatever it is, it's inside the school. the series off limits. Charlotte Graham, I have an interview with the PM. Boss's orders. Oh, Prime Minister. Oh. <sighs> wow, Masaki Five Finger Freeze works a treat. Hello? Prime Minister? Rose, I'm with the PM. He seems to be asleep. Great. Get me those samples. And where would I find DNA exactly? Any piece of skin or fingernail will do. How about dandruff? It's got plenty of that. Perfect. Gross. Britain's PM needs to learn to rinse after he shampoos. <sighs> Transmitting the results now. OK, Prime Minister, let's see what makes you tick. Daisy, is the PM? Yeah, get out of there. <gasps> uh, I I'm Charlotte Miller. Charlotte Graham. Charlotte Miller Graham. Daisy. Daisy. You're very persistent. You journos always get our man. So, how do you feel about meeting Britain's bravest kids? Are you brave, Miss Miller Graham? I, I think so. Then let's stop wasting both our time. DNA analysis, one of your special interests? Science is always popular with our readers. Losing subject. Must be on the L. Blaine? Not now. It's Daisy. What's she done? Broken fingernail? No, she's in trouble. As you'd know if you've been doing your job. Me back at HQ. 
Uh, no running, please, Blaine. Just trying to stop Rumble free. You won't believe this. Interview your way out of this. No, you have to listen. I pick up alien signals from inside the school. It'll be that taxi company from North Wales again. Remember, you thought they were Martians? No, not this time. The signal centered on Westminster and it moved east until it got to here. Westminster? As in House of Parliament, Westminster? Yeah, and it's transmitting from somewhere really close now. I need to borrow this. Radio probably shown ten minutes ago. It's no big deal, OK? I'll explain later. Look after it. Are you sure you don't want me to come? And well done, runner-up Giles, for saving a rambler from a flock of crazed sheep using only a stunt kite and an electric cattle prod. I should have walked this. Yes. What is it with this St. Hope's kid? Carried his grand shopping home for a week. Huh. Looks more likely to have sold his gram. Well, Mummy says that the results were a fix. <laughs> Daisy, thank goodness you're safe. No thanks to Mr. Surveillance. I'm here now, aren't I? Look, can we sort this out later? The Prime Minister is a cyber clone. A what? Oh, Cyberclone, half man, half machine, the DNA test confirmed it. But I can't work out how he's being operated. It could be software, or voice activation, or even radio waves. That would explain this. Stuart's been picking up weird signals. This is great. If we can follow this back to its source, then we'll find out who's controlling the Prime Minister. It's using Face Shift PSK31 mode and the 31.25 kilohertz band. Is that good? Means it's nearby. I'll go. But what about the Roboclone Prime Minister thing? He's going to declare war any minute now. Leave him to me. Back up, Boy Wonder. I don't think so. Look, I messed up and I was wrong about you putting off the report thing, but trust me, I can do this. Okay, fine. We'll both go. Be better not mess up this time. And I'm sure you'll all agree that this has been a, a very special day for St. Hopes. I, I personally would like to say thank you to the Prime Minister. I don't believe this. I'm wanting to stand out from the crowd. Focus, Daisy. 